Hi, this video is intended to show you how to go about Web of Science. From Quick Links, come under Library. It would take you to the University Libraries link. Or you can type in, in the URL search box usd.edu backslash library. Then come under Databases. Look under, click again, call A to Z database or search for the database by typing in W and you can see Web of Science. Either or works. You can select it from the drop down menu or click on the A to Z uh, hyperlink text. And then here you can call Control F if you have a PC and search for Web of Science. Or you can come and select it from up. W, you select the letter W and then you select Web of Science or you can search here for Web of Science. Any road would take you to the right uh, way. So I'm clicking on Web of Science. If you're accessing it off campus, it's going to ask you for your credentials, definitely. And as soon as you're there, say you have a specific article in mind that you found relevant, you just come in and type it here. Let's say this is the article that we want. You click on it. It's preferable if you put it between quotations so that it would refer you to the right article. And as you can see there, you get a button in, in which you will be able to access, it di access the full text directly or sh see how to go about Iliad, which is a document delivery service that we have. So simply by clicking on the hyperlink of the article itself, let me remove this. And you can come down, 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 journal information. And you can see here are the references that it used. View a set of results by themselves in which you can select here to export them all. Or you can select each of the ones that you find relevant and then click export into EndNote desktop or as an RIS, which works in any citation management tool, not necessarily just EndNote. This is the way how to go about exporting the references that the article has used. What about the references that cited this article because they found it's important, which makes it also another form for me to get more and more references. What was this article? So again, it was this one, I think. Let's say it's this one. As you can see here, it's cited by 35 cited references so we can see them again you can see a, a side view a set of results you can select them all and export them into a citation management tool or you can select whatever you find relevant this is called the snowballing effect or as like or as i like to call it also other than snowballing effect the cobweb so you're creating a, a bigger cobweb now I hope you found this helpful. This is another method to increase your uh, references or the uh, results or research uh, literature that you want to look into. Don't hesitate to contact us at any time. We're always ready here for you.